Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an equation with exponents. We have 10 to the power x minus 1 equals x to the power 9, and we're going to be solving for x. At this point, go ahead and pause the video and try the problem yourself first. Okay, so this problem uh, is kind of like an unstandard problem because on one side we have an exponential function and on the right hand side we do have a polynomial. So there are different, uh, they are of different types. So we're going to be using a non-standard approach as well. So to make this problem easier, uh, we're going to log both sides first. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to be putting the log here, 10 to the power x minus 1. That is equal to log of x to the power 9. As you know, the logs are going to bring down the exponents. So that's good to know. Uh, we're going to bring down this x minus 1 here. But when we do, log 10 is going to equal 1. So we're just going to write x minus 1. And then on the right hand side, when you move the 9 over to the front, it's going to be 9 times log x. Now, this equation is still non-standard because now we have a polynomial with a logarithm. So again, they're not of the same type. What do we do? Well, a lot of times we use a very interesting approach in algebra uh, to solve these kinds of equations, especially the ones that are non-standard. Uh, we use a graph. We take advantage of analytical geometry here. So... What we're going to do is we're going to make a graph of these, and these are actually very easy to graph. So if you consider the graph of x minus 1, it's just going to be a straight line, right? Okay, so this is our x and y axis. So x minus 1 is basically a function uh, whose x-intercept is 1 and the y-intercept is negative 1. So it's going to go through these two points. Fairly easy, right? Okay, so our straight line basically goes through these two points, okay? That's the graph of y equals x minus 1. And now we're going to be graphing 9 times log x. As you know, the graph of log x is, uh, it has an x-intercept at 1, and then it kind of curves, and obviously there's an asymptote at x equals 0, which is the y-axis, right? And it kind of goes like this. When you multiply by 9, it's just going to make the graph sharper. It's still going to have the same x-intercept, which is right here, by the way, right? And it still has the same asymptote because as x approaches negative infinity i'm sorry as x approaches zero from the right then uh, log of x is going to approach negative infinity because as you know the log of uh, numbers that are between zero and one are negative that's why we have an x intercept at one but we actually have more information than this because this is also a concave down function which is very important right this function is concave down meaning that its second derivative is going to be negative all the time. Okay, now how does that help us? Well, first of all, we do know that our graph is going to go through 1, 0, so it's going to go like this. And then since it's concave down, it's actually going to curve like this, right? And then at some point, it's going to hit the graph of y equals x minus 1. So this is the graph of y equals 9 log x. So, so basically, one of them is a straight line, the other one is a function that's concave down, that means that they're going to intersect at two points. And we can actually easily find those points, and those are going to be the solutions. One of them is 1. We do know that, right? x equals 1. x equals 1 is a solution. And what about the other one? We can actually go ahead and guess and check for this one. Let's go ahead and guess, guess and check. That the, answer, the other answer is actually, I don't know, it doesn't matter. If you can use either one. But if you consider this equation here, if I replace x with 10, I'm going to be getting 10 minus 1 on this side and 9 times log 10 on this side. Log 10 is 1, and this is also 9, so 9 times 1 equals 9. So we get the equality from here, which means that x equals 10 is another solution. So this equation basically has two solutions. One of them is x equals 1, as you can see from the x-intercept, and the other solution is going to be x equals 10. That's it. There are no other solutions. Because as you can see in the graph, the, these two functions are not going to intersect again. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.